Are you ready, Mo? Taking you on a trip down memory lane here. OK. <laughs> we'll start with this one. Marathon year. That was the one that went right, right? Yeah, that was 2018. Um, it did go right. Um, I think I ended up going running, coming third mm. in that race. It was a pretty loaded race, as you know. Elliot won it, and then I was third. And to run two, two, 206, 206, I think. It was British record at the time. It still is. No, it's not. I broke it down. <laughs> yeah, British record. So you broke nice. it in Chicago, right? Yeah, two, yeah. two oh, five, yeah. eleven. We haven't got that yet. <laughs> and this one. So that one to that one. We put them underneath each other so you could see. So uh, cute. Yeah, guess the year on that one. By that would have been. Dogs, can you? That would have been 1998. Maybe 98. Um, it just says Hanslow the club. Yeah, it doesn't say the year. And I got hair there, so it had to be 98. Look pretty young there. But that's got to be a special memory, that one, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. Samo. That, that was the thing. Yeah, as I said, like, you know, you do all these things, you achieve a lot, and again, to be recognised of what you achieve and to meet her, it was an incredible moment for me and everyone who's been part of, you know, my life, my family and everyone. Did you chat to her? Did you say anything to her? I did, I did talk to her a little bit, and she's like, when are you going to retire? I, I am today. <laughs> <laughs> Not today, you've got three more days, yeah? Yeah, three more, after three more days. Um, <laughs> and then this one, yeah. growing quickly now. Huh? Yeah, the girls are, well, Rihanna's going to be 18 in July. The girls are almost 11 now, Hussein, seven and a bit. Um, yeah. Any of them run? The twins are starting to run now. Uh, Aisha, she's a decent runner. Um, and Amani now has joined the running club. and. Got really emotional actually. Aisha uh, did the cross country for the club, the local club, and I was there, you know, you just supported and you're just like, that's that journey I took. And uh, yeah, I said, just, just very proud of all of them. English schools cross country, right? Yeah, that was the English schools cross country, and that's Stephen Murphy, Malcolm Hassan. Oh my God, was, yeah, and I got my best top one, as you can see. Yeah, I'll bet in your pajamas and just <laughs> put your vest over the top to get ready. Colourful. And then a long way from that one to that one. I know, I think that was the 5,000 metres and yeah, incredible. I think that day will always be there because Kick started it three all. of us. Have you any idea how emotional it's going to be on, on Sunday? You've got to think about the race now, right? Yeah. But it is going to be hugely emotional. So many memories coming at you from all different directions. Yeah, I, th I think the key thing for me is to go out there, enjoy it, make most of it. But I said, you know, even talking about it at the press conference today, I got a little bit emotional just actually just thinking about it and, and, and seeing, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as a boy who took part in the mini marathon and, and again, watch you over the years compete in London Marathon, breaking records, and one day you set yourself and go, I want to compete at the marathon, and, and you do it. And now it's, this is going to be the last one, and I think for me it's just go out there, enjoy it, observe everything, yeah. and I, I, as I said, like London is always been the place for me um, because of the Olympics, because mm. of, you know, the street, of, as yeah. you see, the and crowd. That's why I think the emotions are all, because every step through all of those mini marathons, then that crowd in 2012, and then people are just really going to be out there cheering for you, uh, and you're going to be trying to concentrate on the race, but at the same time, all of those emotions are going to be there as well. Yeah. So yeah, it's, really, it's going to be really special.